hey how's it going on guys so in this video we'll discuss about this problem count squares of matrices with all ones given a m cross n matrix of ones and zeros return how many squares of matrices have all ones so let us consider this example matrix given to us for this example matrix the output is 15 and it is given that there are 10 squares of side 1 so if you see carefully this is one square of side 1 this is another square of side 1 and so on so the total number of ones in the matrix are 10 so there are 10 squares of side 1 next there are four squares of side 2 that is one square is this the second square being this third is this and for this this and finally there is one square of side 3 which is this one so the output being 10 plus 4 plus 1 which is 15 always remember that the squares must contain all ones now let us see how we can solve this problem now in this problem we are going to maintain an auxiliary array and let us name the auxiliary array dp array now the first question is what is the size of the dp array the size of the dp array is same as the size of the matrix given to us the second question is what dpij consists of it is written over here dpij represents the size of the largest square containing all ones with i comma j as the bottom right corner now let us try to figure out how we can fill the dp array so one clear insight over here is it is very simple to fill the row 0 and the column 0 why is that let us think so let us consider this cell if you consider this cell now let us try to consider all squares with this entry as the bottom right corner if you think carefully this is the only square for which this entry is the bottom right corner and since we need all ones it only depends whether this value is 0 or 1 so actually it only depends whether this value is 0 or 1 so what you can do is you can simply fill the row and the column that is the row 0 and column 0 with the values of the matrix correct so let me just fill it out 1 0 1 1 1 now for the rest of the array I have written an algorithm what we are going to do is we are going to follow this algorithm in case the aij is 0 that is the matrix ij is 0 dpij is going to be 0 reason is very simple so let us consider this for this we are going to fill the dp array now this value is going to be 0 reason being consider all squares with this entry as the bottom right corner now for all the squares this will be a part of the square in case this is the part of the square this needs to be one right because we need squares consisting of all ones now if this value is zero it means that no square can exist with this entry as the bottom right corner consisting of all ones because this is also the part of the square correct so this part is very simple for the second part what we can do is in case the matrix ij or aij is one dpij will be the minimum of these three values that is dpij minus one dpi minus one j and dpi minus one j minus one plus one so let us consider for this cell as you can see the matrix ij or the aij is one over here so what we will do is we will take the minimum of this this and this and we will add one to it so it will be one for this we will take the minimum of this this and this and add one to it so it will be two now what does two represents if you think carefully this two represents the size of the largest square with this element as the bottom right corner actually it is representing this square correct this square is represented over here now if you think more carefully over here then as we said dpij represents the size of the largest square containing all ones with i comma j as the bottom right corner and if you think carefully it is all the same as this that is dpij will also represent the total number of squares containing all ones with i comma j as the bottom right corner that is this 2 is representing that there exist two squares with all ones with this element is the bottom right corner so the first square being this square and the second being this complete square okay let us mark this thing i'm not able to mark okay let us this is that is this square correct and similarly i'll fill it over here zero and what you can do after this is you can just sum all the values in the dp array and that will be your answer so that will represent all the squares which is consisting of all ones so let me just write the code for this question and then things will be more clear okay first is let us consider values m as matrix dot length and n as matrix 0 dot length 
Now let us create the DP array, which is of size I am crossing. We'll create a result which will be initially zero and we will just loop over the matrix. J equals zero, J less than N, J plus plus. Now what we will do is you will just check if I equal equal zero or J equal equal zero. This is the one first case and we have a second case as well. In case I is zero or J is zero, that is we are in the row zero or column zero. In that case, DPIJ will be same as matrix IJ as we have already discussed. In the second case, DPIJ will depend on two things. That is whether matrix IJ is one or not. So in case matrix IJ equal equal one, DPIJ will be math dot min of DP I minus one J comma math dot min of dp i minus 1 j minus 1 and dp i j minus 1 and we will simply add 1 to it and in case it is 0 it will be 0 so i have already mentioned this thing over here this is what we are getting over, over there okay so once dpij is created what we can do is we can say result plus equals dpij and finally we just have to return the result so let me just run this code first so it's giving the correct result let me submit the solution so it got accepted now one more thing over here, if you see carefully, in order to fill dpij, I just require dpi minus one. That is dpi minus one j, dpi minus one j minus one, and dpi j minus one. So I have discussed this thing before as well. When in order to fill the ith row, you are only dependent upon the i minus one row or i plus one row. Then you can reduce the space complexity. So what we can do over here is, we can just reduce the space by this thing now we will maintain a flag value so this is a very popular technique which is known as the flag technique i have discussed about this technique thoroughly in one video i'll just link down that video as well in the description section in case you have doubts about this uh, algorithm so what we are going to do is instead of filling dpij we're going to fill dp flag j so over here as well we will just do dp flag j and instead of i minus 1, we will do flags or 1. Over here as well, this is dp flag. And once one iteration is done, we will simply do flag zor equals 1. So I guess everything looks fine let me run this code once more time one more time so it's giving the correct result let me submit the solution so it got accepted so i'll just link down that video in which i have thoroughly discussed about the flag technique you can go through that video and you will be understand you will be able to understand so what we are trying to do in this i'll just give you a brief uh, idea about it so what we are doing is we are maintaining two rows and we are switching the rows so first we are filling the zeroth row and with the help of the 0th row, we are filling the first row. When we have filled the first row, we are toggling. Toggling is over happening over here. So once we have filled the first row, then you will fill the 0th row with the help of the first row. Correct. And once that is filled, you will toggle it, toggle it again and you will then fill the first row with the help of 0th row and so on. Correct. So I guess that's it from the video. In case you have learned anything from the video, you can hit that like button. And in order to support my work, you may consider subscribing to my channel. Thank you all.